Hello and welcome to my oil edit video. Today I wanted to have a chat about some of my favorite oils for the face, for the body and oils in general because I think you know oils are one of those products that we sometimes a little bit scared of using and actually they can be really really good for your skin and turn it around in no time at all. So I'm gonna talk you through some of my favorite cleansing oils, treatment oils, and body oils, and I hope you will enjoy it and find something for yourself among those products. First, cleansing oils. When it comes to oil cleansers, you can find either balm forms or actual liquids. And I've tried quite a few different ones. This one is from uh, DHC, but I used to love cleanser from um, Lancome and also a new one from the Body Shop is absolutely fantastic. They're great because they really remove all the makeup, dirt and grime from your skin without stripping your skin from natural protection. And don't be scared of oils if you have oily skin or combination or prone to blemishes because it's not going to make it any more oilier. This is the biggest misper misperception about the oils and if anything, it can turn your skin around. And I will talk uh, in a minute about a really, really good treatment oil for oily skin. So if you wear a lot of makeup or long lasting makeup, actually something like a cleansing balm to oil can be a really good option for you because it naturally forces you to really give it a good massage and blend, removing that makeup and then wash it off rather than just quickly splashing your skin with some cleansing gel. So oils or cleansing balms, yes, they're really good. Next, I wanted to talk about some of my favorite oil treatments for the skin. Um, first, I want to talk about the oil which turned my skin around, which I recommended many times to my friends and to my readers, and I can always trust that it's gonna do a good job. And this is the Lotus Oil from Clarence. Now, this is purposely designed for anyone with oily skin. So it's for oily and combination skin. And the blend of the oils in there will help to balance your skin's oil production. And literally about a week and a half of a daily treatment or every night, stop my skin from being super oily all over to being actually manageable. Um, I use it now like maybe once a week just to sort of um, keep my skin in a good condition, prevent from getting super oily. So if you struggle with a lot of oil, a lot of shine on your skin, or sometimes coming up with blemishes and you don't know what to try, really, really highly recommend you that to try this oil and don't be scared of it. You'll be surprised how well it will work for you. Next is Aesop and this is a fabulous face oil. It smells absolutely amazing. It smells very, very flowery. And this is very good for you if you have congested skin. You know, when, when you can see that there's quite a lot of stuff sitting in your pores, it doesn't always come out. It's matte finish. After you've applied, it goes matte. Um, very good as well for hydration and for anyone with quite dull skin. And this next product is something that you must have heard before. It's Kale's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. And this is like a dry oil. It's completely see-through when you see it. It doesn't have any color and it burns and sinks into your skin instantly. This is your perfect night slip in a bottle. And you wake up next day with radiant and fresh looking complexion. So these three are my most loved facial treatment oils. Let's go to the body now. So if you've seen my video before, you will hear me talking about the Caudalie oil, which I just ran out, so it's gonna go to my empties. It's perfect to nourish the skin really deeply. I've been using this over the last two months, literally every single day. And sometimes when I went into the shower, I could still feel that my skin was really nourished. So really lovely if you've got dry skin or you like your skin to look really juicy. And also, Huile prodigieuse or. Huile prodigieuse or. That's apparently how you said. I've been practicing. This one's from Nooks. And I love this in the summer because of the shimmer. There is an option, you can buy a version without a shimmer, but I tend to buy the one with a shimmer and use it in the summer. It just gives you a little bit of sort of sparkle and extra glow on your skin. And um, yeah, so that's my other favorite and that's really nourishing. And there's one last left, and that's a uh, shower and buff. And I have here Aromatherapy Associates, and this is Inner Strength, 
strength bath and shower oil. Now, initially I used to use them in the bath, which I really love them. Um, it's I used to have the thing, the relaxing one, and, and I used to use it in the bath and just round the bath and put a cap of that, like this cap. And it was really lovely. The only thing, you've got a lot of cleaning to do afterwards. Um, and actually with this, I started using it in the shower, just a tiny little bit and just instead of your maybe shower gel. And I actually really like it that way. And I don't know if it's just the fact that there's no cleaning involved afterwards. And this is really good if you want something that's sort of going to revive you, but also keep your skin well hydrated, well nourished. And um, if you maybe have dry skin, that could be quite nice as well, because it really does, you know, leave this sort of like a film, but in a positive way. So this is me and my alls. I hope you enjoyed the video and you find here something for yourself, or at least you'll find, feel encouraged to go and try some oils. If you know of something that I should definitely try, pop it in the comments below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up before you go and subscribe so you know when the new videos are coming. And I see you soon.